Good afternoon po. Uh, so, nandito na po tayo sa third part ng Sandy Service, which is giving. So, sa mga hindi po naniniwala sa tithes and offering, or sa nagdadalawang isip na magbigay, um, samahan niyo po kung ah, i-memorize po natin itong memory verse na to. Kasi ito yung magpapaalala sa akin, bakit kailangan nating mag-tights? Or bakit, ano ang mga advantages ng pagbibigay? So let's open our Bible to Malakay 3.10, Malakay 3 verse 10 to 12. Bring all the tights into the storehouse, that there may be food. Nagita po. That there may be food in my house and try me now in this says the lord if i will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it and i will rebuke the devourer for your sakes so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field says the lord and all nations will call you blessed For you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of the hosts. Okay. So, we all know that tithe is very biblical. And sa pagtitites po, we take away 10% of our income to give honor to the Lord. And then, our love is being tested through giving generously. So, but when we give, Generously, God is more generous than we are. So, He has promised us some benefits. Isa-isayin po natin yung mga benefits na to ha, na nasabi sa, Malak sa Malakay 3.10. So, number one, God says in, Malak in Malakay, God, God says there will be food in the house of God. So, when we give our tithes, as God promised, ang bahay ng Diyos ay mapupuno ng pagkain o ano pa man na kanyang pangangailangan. So why do we need to fill the house of God? Siyempre po, from the house of God, which is the KOJF right now, diba? dito po tayo matin, dito po tayo nakakapag-gain ng strength, healing, blessings, faith, and salvation. So as, as, as a form of gratitude, we also give back what we get. Tama po ba? So wag po tayong manghihinayang sa perang nilalabas natin para sa church. Tama po? Dahil ang mga ito po ay nagagamit naman para sa mga pangangailangan ng ating pastor, na si Apostol Ricky, at ng kanyang pamilya, at ng lahat ng church workers para sa paghayo at paghahanap pa ng mga kagalawang maliligtas. So, we, we, we give to bless hindi lang po si God, pati na rin po ang church natin. So, number two po, God will open the windows of heaven and provides for us. We should not worry if your, if your heart says give, please give. Because when you give, God will take away your worries and will handle all your expenses. Like, like what happened to Sister Neri. If you remember, nagpatutuo po siya. Sabi niya, wala siyang pambayad sa mga hospital expenses. Pero si God, humipo po siya ng tao to, to provide all the needs that they have to spend sa hospital. And miraculously, gumaling din po yung kanyang asawa mula sa sakit na na-discover ng mga doktor. Pero himala po, true prayers ng ating apostol ni Apostol Ricardo at ng mga church workers gumaling po siya. So yun po, God opened the windows of heaven. So hindi tayo dapat mag-worry. Through prayers, pwede po tayong makahingi sa ka kay God ng mga lahat ng pangangailangan and then He will provide. And according to Malakay, He will pour out blessings. Sa pangatlo pong advantage ng pagbibigay, ha, He will pour out blessings. So sabi doon, when we give generously, God will be more generous to us. Yun. So unexpectedly, you receive 
you receive more than what you pray for. Nagbigay ka ngayon, tapos biglang may darating, hindi mo akalain, mas malaki pa po. Not because you are very industrious on your job or business, but because God is pouring blessings on you. So this is, this is true sa aming mag-asawa, for example lang po, no? So two weeks ago, when I was able to give more than what, more than <laughs> what I, ano, uh, I planned for. So, hindi ko po akala eh, na makakapagbigay ako ng tithes and offering ng big amount. Pero po, af uh, after that week po, meron na po agad good news si Jesus. Hindi po siya mapigilan, gumawa agad siya ng, ng pagkilos niya sa buhay namin mag-asawa. Kasi sa aming mga teacher, he touched the heart of President Duterte. And it, it is our first time to receive to to receive a service incentive. Service, ang tawag po the SRI, Ser Service Recognition Incentive na ibibigay ni President Duterte sa amin for the month of December bago daw matapos ng year na to. Uh, 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 hopefully, matanggap nga po namin. So, yan po yung isa sa mga good news na binigay ni God sa akin. Kasi, nagbigay ako. Tama po? So, agad-agad binabalik niya. And then, yung asawa ko po, according to him, um, ang kanilang store right now is number one on sales. So, pag ibig sabihin po, pag big sales, big incentives yun. So, ang nakakatuwa po doon, um, insured na yung next month namin kasi incentive is coming po. So, ganun po kabuti ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Kaya, truly, God is pouring His blessing when we give generously. Kaya, please don't be afraid to give. Number four po, there won't be room enough to receive them. If you can observe po, look at your own house. Parang lumilit po, di ba? Not because the family is getting big, but because you can avail things that beyond your capacity. And these things are occupying your space. Kaya sumisikip. Bakit? Because you are getting able to buy those things kahit nga di mo kailangan na bibili mo eh. Tapos hindi mo na mamalayan, sumisikip na yung bahay nyo kasi ang dami mo ng gamit. Why po? Kasi nga si God binibigay lahat sa'yo kahit hindi mo kailangan. Pero ikaw na lang po ang magmamanage nun. So, Sabi doon, God is giving you more and more that your room is not uh, not enough to receive them. So, kay, uh, uh, yun po. So, sumisigurit. Parang sa bahay namin, sabi ko parang ang liit na nito, tatlo lang kami. Pero ang liit na. Pero, yun. Kasi nga, God is so good in our lives. Number five po, He will rebuke the devourer. To, one of my favorite po ito. Kasi when you are being faithful to God, inaalis niya ang mga hadlang sa buhay mo. If there is someone making your life miserable in your job, in your business, in your school, pray for it. Then God will remove them or remove you from them. So I remember when I was a child, when we were a child na magkakapatid ko, we have a neighborhood na sobrang greedy po sa lupain. Pati sa tubig. So, natatakot kami sa kanya kasi sundalo siya. But our mother was so faithful to God. Kaya inalis ng Diyos yung sundalo na yun sa place namin. At dinala siya sa malayong lugar. Kaya, because... God will not allow such kind of person na maghindran sa atin from receiving all these kinds of blessings that God has planned to give us. Tama po? Yan. So, si God na ang bahala po to review all the devourer to us. So, for us. Then, number six, our fruit will be protected. The fruit is referring to be the source of income. Yung fruit na pinag-usapan dito yung source natin, no? So, if it's business or office work, hindi yan mawawala sa'yo. If you have blessings, at uh, if you have business, hindi yan malulugi, palalaguin pa yan ni Lord. If you, if you are a contract worker, you will become a permanent working in your work or in your company. 
if you already have nice job, surprises are coming like unexpected incentives and bonuses. Because God is protecting your fruits. No? So number seven, people will call us blessed. Ayan, so we are blessed. For non-Christians, they call blessings as suerte. Tama po? Suerte ka daw kasi maganda yung trabaho mo. Suerte daw ang business mo, palago ng palago. Suerte ka kasi may anak kang matalino. Pero sa ating mga Christiano, we don't call it suerte. We call it blessings. Tama po? And blessings are the things that we enjoy galing kay God mismo. And it is God's grace. Right? Okay. So lastly, we will be delight. We will be a delight to the Lord. Wala na mas magandang goal kundi mapasaya natin ang ating mga magulang. Tama po ba? Yung mga anak dito, di ba yung tayo, kahit matatanda na tayo, yung mga magulang tayo, yung mga matatanda na rin, ang gusto-gusto po natin, mapasaya natin ang ating mga magulang. Parang, uh, ganun din po sana para kay God. Gusto natin, dapat ang ano natin ay mapasaya natin si God. Kasi si God, kapag nagbibigay ka, nagiging mas masaya siya. Parang mga magulang din. Kapag masaya, ah, pag napasaya mo siya tulad sa grades mo, dadaling ka niya sa isang restaurant, ititreat ka o kaya rinigaluhan ka. Ganun din po si God. Pag you give more than sa mga kaya mong ibigay, mas malaki pa yung ibabalik niya sa'yo. So parang magulang din si God. Kaya let's try him and prove him by bringing our tithes to the storehouse, which is the KOJF itself. And let us believe that we could receive all these benefits I have mentioned. So, brothers and sisters, I am challenging you to give you, to give your tithes, and more than that, share pa yung offering po natin para sa lahat ng needs ng KOJF.